That means you, Anna Sophie Mesa. Congratulations, Year 13. Um, so, my piece of advice for you when you leave um, university is there to kind of further your education and to kind of make you more mindful about your chosen subject, but my piece of advice would be to really throw yourself into it. Um, join as many clubs, societies, um, and other projects as you can. Get involved in all the union things um, because it's not just there for your subject, it's there to widen your horizons. Um, there'll be things you've seen that'll open your eyes and make you a better human. So please, you know, don't just go to university to study your subject, go to university for a life experience. Um, and I hope you get the very best out of it. Remember your friends, you'll never know when they might be your boss. Well, as Confucius once said, uh, in all things, success depends on preparation. Without such preparation, there is sure to be failure. It doesn't matter whether a cat is black or white, as long as it catches mice. Good luck, everybody. Think before you ink. <laughs> to go forward, make the most of the opportunities that are ahead of you in the next two or three years. Make lots of new friends and have lots of new experiences. Do things you're interested in. Take loads of photos along the way. Money is not the most important thing in life. Don't have Daniel Bailey's hair. You were very special to me, especially because you were so noisy and I could never get you to keep quiet. But I wish you only the best and I will miss you very much. Don't wait for the storm to pass. Learn to dance in the rain. Aspire to be great. Maybe not world-renowned greatness, but be great. Be a great doctor, great business person, uh, great lawyer, great teacher, designer, nurse or engineer. Be a great friend who is there when you need it. Be a great partner who is supportive and loyal. Be a great son or daughter. And in time, as you have greatly benefited from, be a great parent. Be a great student at university and as you continue to learn throughout your life, aspire for greatness. Be great with regards to your carbon footprint. That's really important. Be great with regards to your support for worthy causes and those less fortunate than yourselves. For every person who is considered great, there are probably hundreds of people who have done a great job in supporting that person as they achieve their greatness. Find a partner in life who makes you a better person, not just somebody who looks good on your arm or earns lots of money. Don't lose your friends because of the geographical separation, but rather take the opportunity to extend your friendship group by meeting new friends in your new country while staying in touch with your old friends in Brunei. And finally, always have a full-length mirror in a well-lit room. Don't mess up and remember, geography is everywhere. Yeah, we, 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 we will not miss Mr. Pryor. 
Yo, Superman! Yo, Superman! Yo, Piper. Piper. Yeah. <laughs> is uh, a really hard one to live under. Your <laughs> The chemistry teachers. Mr. Lopez. The fear I get before entering his lessons. Probably when Mr. Piper told me up every time because I, I turn my hair up really. I like to be free. The temperature gradient difference when you walk from inside the cold classroom through really hot outside common rooms. Rebecca! <laughs> I will miss the viral. Having to be in school for like 10 hours every day. Everyone. Probably everything. Sex. It's not like you get any <laughs> Three flights of stairs. Drama. You won't miss waking up early. I won't miss the <laughs> empires. Yeah. And the teachers. Teachers. Especially the rude ones. Each other. Yes. Yes. Party project is one for sure. Squat. 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 <laughs> Jason calling me trees. Oh, or Singapore trip. <laughs> Singapore trip. That was good. Mine would be dating my boyfriend. Ew. Finding my boyfriend and finding love. Do we? Do we? Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. like, this is like spending time with them, like, doing lunch sites. So. GCSE prom. My memory was GCSE prom when I yeah, sang boyfriend fun. to everyone. Oh, he rapped. I, I rapped it. I was just in fever. DOE. Uh, yeah, DOE was. DOE was so much fun. Kenya? Kenya. India. 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 <laughs> India. India. Annoying these people. India! Oh, India! India! <laughs> India. <laughs> Mr. Piper's birthday. Everything! Yeah, I would say everything. I don't know, everything, everything. even the bad. Don't do math. Sleep more. Sleep more. I make more friends. I'd pack my own stuff. I wouldn't do six form. Not do six form? <laughs> six form. Don't do math. I don't worry too much. And actually study. Actually working hard. My work. I take okay, my academics more seriously in year 12. Take more chances in life. You know how on Twitter there's like a lot of ugly people become like really famous and really pretty? Huh. This might become a lot of Everyone should be nicer to everyone. I would do IB. I would take A-levels. I, I think I would have took IB. Oh, I wouldn't have taken English Lit. I would have taken Accounting. Mr. Khan was right. That would have been a good subject to take. I would wake up earlier, go to sleep earlier, and do everything earlier. Better food! No regrets! Pregnant! Holy oh, yeah. happy! On top of a volcano! Like, what did this wedding? She's gonna be there! 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 She's gonna Prostitution. I'll be flowing money. Making it rain. Making lots of money. Working at a cashier in McDonald's. Being, oh. being the owner of that that McDonald's. I'd be own my own school and somewhere in the world, which I can hire, maybe give Mr. Piper a job. I think in 10 years I'll be in prison. In 10 years I see myself in a psychiatrist's office okay. talking about my troubles. We will all be doctors. That's why we're friends, because the only thing we have in common is that we want to be doctors. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Colonizing Mars. What? I guess um, where we want to be. Start my own business. Taco truck. In Scotland. Yes. Really is the Hopefully far away from here. Not here. Okay.
the racial diversity, <laughs> the racial <laughs> harmony in Jis is an example to all international schools. Miss Buckley! Miss Buckley! Miss Buckley. Oh, this, this Buckley. Love you, Miss Buckley. Who's playing cards? Who's playing cards? All the people and like the teachers because everyone here is so supportive and then it's like a friend thing. Yeah, yeah. Really. Friends. Friends. Yeah. Friends. Yes, yes. Rather high. Brendan! Anthony, Anthony Piper, great guy. Michael Hobbis, uh, uh, Dr. Masters. You mean Sheridan? Yeah, Sheridan. Uh, I'm thinking about Barnaby. Oh, oh Barnaby. Barnaby. Keep it real, Barnaby. 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 Yeah. Barnaby. Yeah. Barnaby. The humanities department. They're the best like teachers in the school. Oh my God, I love you, Mr. Lopez. If you're watching this, you've given me so much confidence. Seeing my best friend. I will genuinely miss him. Yeah, even though it's like. My lunch table, like we talk about people we hate, people we like. We <laughs> Just the six more vibe. I'll miss Yurong's rages. Oh, I'll miss Saad singing in Econs. Three of us plus one. Just hold on. We are gone. Just never give up. Don't go straight to sheds and sort of. Get out! Get out! Use people for your own good. Love on the streets, haram on the sheets. Do you want to get f***ed up? Wrecked or both? It's been a good 13 years. What have you done today to make yourself proud? See you next year. I remember. The Year 11 graduation dinner, the Harlem Shake, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Amir Darul for being Amir Darul, Ted Lim for his muscles, <laughs> and Howard Kwan for having hair that does not move at all. Oh, and Moonib, who has single handedly destroyed one tent on Duke of Ed. What a house! The time I did the Harlem Shake with Mr. Bourbon. That time in DOE, Silver. When, Mich when Michelle Withers opened the door to see Mr. Bourbon cropping. N equals C D. N equals P R T. <laughs> Wait, it's N V equals P R T. I remember my friends. Mr. Bourbon. I will always remember scoring my first goal for Jess. It's probably outside, but a great memory. The joy and the uh, delight on people's faces when they complete their DT coursework is a huge amount of effort. But when it's all finished, it's so satisfying. Anna and your love for teachers. I'll just, I'll just I always remember Josh fell over doing the physics empire. <laughs> I will always remember Mr. Lush's speeches. Oh, doing the right thing is the right thing to do. 18. I will always remember that time where everyone in our English class was crying. The whole English class cried, and then we went to English class, Mr. Donnelly was so terrified. I always remember Sam Liu's high-pitched giggle when I'm in the middle of something quite serious. TOK students being unable to write anything without cake. Mr. Piper's motivational techniques. Do some work! I uh, has been taking you on to, you know, those of you I've had the privilege of taking into the jungle, the rainforest. Um, again, as a biologist, this is the place to be if you want to go out and study biology. Um, and it's been a privilege to work with some of you. And then, you know, the, the people falling in the rivers, the, um, you know, kind of uh, not wanting to sleep in the jungle and whatnot. Um, it's been the, the best experience to see you grow. I wish you all the very best. Um, thanks for the experience uh, and the best of luck. Time where my belt snapped in the toilet because I was too fat stress eating for exams. Sammy and Timothy and their words of wisdom to me and Dr. Baldwin. They all started year seven with massive rucksacks, shirts that were too big, 
and huge heads, bizarrely. Um, but you've all grown up, most of you, into amazing young adults and um, good luck with the exams, but good luck with your futures too. You wrong stressing in every one of my lessons. It always makes me laugh and she'll have to Skype me next year with a stress out. I would always remember this year 13 IB cohort because they contain my favourite ever IB student. James! <laughs> I will always remember you 13s as the nicest year 13s I have ever taught at GIS. Truthfully, really, 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 really. I always remember the hardship and the heartache of teaching year 13. Just the, you know, the really nice atmosphere that just has. I would always remember taking the mic constantly out of my year 13 class. Um, but I'll also remember fondly making Charmaine out to be a prima donna, jet set, lifestyle, uber rich, um, but fundamentally quite nice person. Although you are a carbon criminal, Charmaine, a carbon criminal. I'm going to remember like the psychological trauma brought <laughs> upon by doing IB. Way back, girls football teams. It's, you know, uh, the under-19 Fabicia trip, but I think the thing that will stick in my mind is the Borneo Project trip. Um, the dancing in the rain, and I guess the well-earned look of satisfaction when people saw how much they'd done in the week that we were there. My friends, the <laughs> teachers, the school. I always remember the racist tent in Kenya. I always remember the racist tent. Oh, I know. I always remember. Okay, you're 13. You were in your seven. We arrived here at JS. That's meant that basically you are the best year group ever, and you'll always have a very special place in my heart.
want to say to you lot is, make the world better. My other favourite memory was the whole of IB. I love IB, it's really fun. Hey, levels! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Hey, levels! <laughs> Three, two, one! Class of 2015! 2015! Oh, jeez, like my mashed potatoes. <laughs> Always remember. Oh.